Hello Taurus, welcome to my channel. Victoria here at Radiant Moon Tarot. We are having a look at the energies around your December 2022 money and career. If you're new to my channel, hello and welcome to you. If you're returning, welcome back. As always, I'm truly grateful for each and every one of you. So we do have some very interesting and very powerful energy in the month of December. We do each month, but we've got a super new moon in Capricorn on right on the 23rd. And of course, December is a month where we have a lot of get-togethers, a lot of expenditures, um, a lot of different celebrations around the world. So this new moon, with it being a super new moon happening on the 23rd, it carries um, a bigger energy about it, right? It's kind of like um, a really wonderful kind of turning point. And at that time, we do have a few planets that are in um, Capricorn. It's very like planet heavy. We've got um, we've got the sun, the moon, Mercury, Venus, and Pluto all in Capricorn there. So very powerful, very earthy energy, a lot of things going on there. So uh, it's really quite magical. But we also do have Jupiter that is finally um, settling down in the sign of Aries and there it will stay for the next year. And Jupiter is a very powerful planet of expansion, of luck, um, of uh, abundance, right? Also of wisdom, growth, elevating consciousness. And the thing is with Jupiter, uh, it's fairly slow moving. So it spends um, pretty much a year in each uh, sign. So with this being an Aries, right? It's a great go-getter kind of energy that comes with this, um, with Jupiter in there. So like go out and find your luck, right? Go out and take some action. Um, with this being um you know, a 12 year cycle where we have Jupiter. And of course, Aries is the first sign of the Zodiac. It's like um, a Jupiter year kind of thing. All right. So some of you may be making some big long term plans, um, setting some big long term goals, like a 12 year goal with your money, with your career path, with your purchases, with your investments, investing in the future, so to speak, and which is actually really quite um, powerful, of course, because we are coming up to our calendar new year, right? So, you know, we quite often um, do set new year's intentions and things like that, too. So it's a time of reflection. It's a time of setting some intentions. It's a great, great, great energy for you to set some manifestation goals. All right. And especially those big ones. But let's see what we've got coming in here for you. We've got the poised energy coming in. Now, this is very exciting. So this shows you are ready for something. You are right on the edge of taking some steps, of making some moves. Now, when we have this, this brings in an energy of blessings and excitement for you. So this could certainly be something that you've been preparing for. Now is your time to shine, okay? You could have some sort of opportunity that presents itself to you. Um, it could be a purchase. It could be something in your career, right? Maybe a, you just get like, you know, get to sink your teeth into some project or something. But if you do well, this may um, really have some great returns for you. All right. But the poised energy really does say get ready because there are wonderful opportunities laying ahead for you. There's doors opening for you and take this energy and run with it. Trust yourself to make the right moves and to take the right steps as well. But it's important to allow because we do have to the sea. And when we have the to the sea energy, this does bring in the ability to be open, to receive and be in the flow. All right, to just allow. And when we're in the energy of allowing, of being in the flow, what happens? The magic can happen a little bit. Um, things get a little bit easier for us. It's where we kind of can take that step back and observe, accept, and see where we're at. We can assess our situations. We're not trying to control anything. We're just you like water off a duck's back, right? We're just going with the flow and we're not allowing anything to keep us stuck. So it's actually a really wonderful energy for you coming into December. For some of you, you may have some surprises. You may have, um, you know, well, I mean, you may have like some Christmas bonuses and things like that coming in. Wouldn't that be nice? Um, you know, but it could just be a, a time for you when things are just really starting to come 
come together and things are starting to come to fruition and those doors are opening for you. So a little bit of excitement in the air for you. So get ready because I feel for some of you, you've been waiting for something to shift for a while. All right, listen to your intuition, listen to your inner guidance system because to the C energy, uh, it's card number seven. So it's very uh, guided by spirit kind of energy, right? So I think your higher senses will be showing you the path forward. We've got the queen of fire coming in for you. The messenger of water, there may be some good news. We've got the nine of earth, oh yes. And we've got the ten of water, wow, okay. So Taurus, this does really bring in some wonderful, wonderful energy for you. And the bottom of the deck here, we do have the fool. The fool, just like that poised card, get ready. There's new beginnings, new adventures, new opportunities, those doors opening for you. Okay. This can be to make those improvements in your life. This can be something that you, uh, that you want that solidifies your sense of safety and security for the future investments, um, investments, purchases, big, bold moves for some of you in this, uh, in this arena. So trust yourself that you're on the right path and trust yourself that you have the ability to make the right choices, right? Sometimes we do need to be in that flow energy to the sea because that fool card really does sometimes um, invoke us to take a leap of faith. All right, and we don't always know when an opportunity presents itself to us, we don't always know what the long-term outcome might be, or we don't know necessarily, is the path going to be easy? Is it going to be difficult? Is this going to be everything that I ever wanted? We don't always know all of those questions. All we can do is really trust our senses and say, you know what, this feels right for me today. Let's run with it. Let's go with it and let's see what happens. And, you know, when we have this full energy, you can also be open to changing direction as you go along your path, right? And sometimes with great risk comes great reward. So that Fool card really does um, tell quite the story for you. And of course, we had um, November 8th, we had that big full moon, that lunar eclipse in your sign here, Taurus. So this could certainly have kick-started some energy for you to start new things or to try things or to look at things a little bit differently. But we do have the Queen of Fire. So this is bringing you the energy of confidence, of success, Success to your realm. This is you. There's something burning, a passion burning within. Okay, this brings you the confidence and the um, ability to really take some initiative, take some action, to be honest and truthful with yourself and those around you. All right, the queen of fire is like that burning passion. You're feeling motivated. You've got some energy, but you're also in that energy of receiving. The queens are that feminine energy of being open and receptive, but with that fiery energy, okay, this is a little bit of excitement and this is that um, ability to kind of take that initiative and get things going and get things started. All right, and this is all on you. This is all about you um, here, Taurus, okay? Because that queen of fire is a very independent energy. So trust yourself that you're making the right choices. Trust yourself that you can find the right information. Trust yourself that you can unlock some doors and you realize your full potential. All right. But I think there's some excitement in the air for you here. Now, the queen of fire can also represent a person in your life here as well. So you may meet some new people. You might be partnering up with some people. Perhaps there's someone that you can collaborate with or perhaps someone that can give you some really good advice. All right. Because they've been there, done that. And they're like, yeah, oh yeah. Oh yeah. I tried that before and I totally screwed it up. But I think you might have the the ability to get that done. Um, I, my heart wasn't in it. Right. So, you know, you could just have that person in your life that gives you that little bit of a motivation, inspiration, or advice coming in because they are very honest. All right. They also have magnetic quality about them in the queen of fire energy. So this can represent present just a friend or a co-worker or again maybe somebody new entering your life but the blessings that are headed your way we do have the messenger of water and this is the knight of cups energy offers opportunities doors opening for you this brings in a wonderful energy of creation you might be feeling quite creative or to get things that you want you might need to take a creative approach 
at things, okay? But this is really opening you up, bringing you forth some good news and having you be open and receptive to all sorts of interesting things headed your way. So it's a very beautiful energy, a um, little bit emotional energy too. I think some of you have some really joyous news that's coming in here or this really uh, this really wonderful opportunity that you need to act upon, okay, that can really make you feel good and make you feel like um, like you fulfilled some sort of goal or purpose or that you're very much on your way, all right, because you might need to put yourself out there with that messenger of water, all right, but I think some of you may have something that is offered to you, some good news that's headed your way, of course, hopefully, hopefully for you, this improves your financial outlook too because the nine of earth here, your advice from spirit to believe in yourself, to follow your goals and your dreams, and there is abundance, success, and prosperity that is waiting for you. Focus on your long-term goals, your short-term goals, all right? What do you want to accomplish because you have the ability to do that now, okay? Does it require making change? Maybe, all right, but does it um, also require maybe just persevering and you're on the right path? Absolutely. The nine, uh, the nines do represent completion. So, um, and the nine of earth is an incredibly successful and profitable um, completion here as well. So there may be some things where you're reaping your rewards this month and spirits like, yeah, don't worry. There's some great things happening for you. Um, this is also a spirit saying that those doors are opening for you now. Okay. And the future is very bright for you. And there's a lot of abundant success that is ahead of you. And spirit just says here with that queen of fire energy, don't give up, be open to new experiences and to trying new things. And you'll be amazed what you may find. So, but that nine of earth is a wonderful, wonderful energy, but we also do have the 10 of water. Okay. So such wonderful energy coming in here for you guys. And the Ten of Water is, of course, I mean, we look at, the, you know, Happy Little Buddha there or uh, Happy Buddha with the big belly coming in there, right? This is bringing in unlimited potential, happiness, joy, good news, a sense of satisfaction, well-being, ultimate, the heart bursting with pride, bursting with joy in this energy. Of course, the Ten of Water, which is the Ten of Cups energy, can quite often focus on the family, on the home, okay, or of being in a right place to, um, you know, have that life that you're looking for. So, you know, I think here there's a lot of optimism coming into your energy. There's a lot of possibilities coming into your energy. And yeah, it may even be a little bit of a success story um, coming in here for you too. So let's get a little bit more information. Thank you very much. The tides are turning for you with the Wheel of Fortune flying out of your deck. So you may have some surprises that are coming in here for you. This can just be a big massive shift of a cycle coming in here for you with that wheel of fortune all right things are heading in the right direction the wheel of fortune is a card of destiny it's a card of karma okay so with this being in the upright this is things headed in the right way for you those doors opening just like what we've been saying in your reading a little bit of good luck and good fortune and i think the good that you've put out into the world thus far you start to see some great things happen back for you all right so it's a little bit of excitement but the wheel of fortune whenever we have a change in cycle it does come with a little bit of oof, um, a little bit of uncertainty right we sometimes feel a little bit like yeah uh you know i just i don't know where we're going okay i'm feeling a little bit uncomfortable but it also feels right at the same time all right so maybe a little bit of uncomfortable energy there for you all right but uh a little bit of luck maybe on your side and of course who rules the wheel of fortune Jupiter. Okay. And just like we said, Jupiter is heading into Aries and we've got that fiery energy there with that queen of wands. So use this energy to your advantage to propel yourself forward to where you want to go. We've got the king of cups coming in here as a blessing for you on top of this messenger of water. So this is very interesting. The knight of cups and the king of cups. Okay. So there may certainly be something coming in here where you do get some sort of news or an opportunity for you to level up. Okay, for you to maybe go from employee to employer or from, you know, worker B to the big boss man or boss woman. Okay, because those kings really do represent a sense of maturity 
and growth, okay, but it's also leadership and control. So it may be that you are just taking the lead and you're feeling super, super positive about something that you want. You may have some burning desire. You may have some passions, all right, and you just maybe just have this intuitive sense, very spiritual energy here too. You might just have this intuitive sense that, you know, I'm being pulled, I'm being guided, I'm being shown my path, and I'm confident now that, you know, this is my time to shine. So I think you're very much in the flow with that energy. You're listening to your emotions. And I really do think that you've got this great um, uh, sense of self. Okay, possibly some really good news. All right, some movement in your reading here as well. And the King of Cups can also represent um, a partnership, right? Partnership, partnering up with somebody or somebody who comes into your realm, um, whether you know them already or they're new. Again, we've got the Queen of Wands there coming out too. So there might be some people around you that can really help you out, okay? Or maybe they hold the key to your success um, in some way, okay? Okay, maybe a decision maker or something, okay, and they just may choose you in this energy. So um, with this being a blessing, somebody that can, of course, help you on your journey in some way. We've got the magician coming in here with your advice from spirit. Be mindful of your thoughts and feelings, but spirit says here, this is your time to focus on your goals and your dreams, your short-term goals and dreams, your long-term goals and dreams and investment and whatever you want right now, you have the ability to create it. You have the ability to put yourself out there and find those new opportunities to um, manifest something into your world. Again, like we said a little bit earlier in your reading, this on the 23rd of December, this super Super new moon in Capricorn with all of this planetary action and then finally, um, you know, Ju Jupiter settling down in that Aries energy. Um, it can be a lot of energy, okay, but this is a great time for you to set some intentions, to set those goals, okay, to find and unlock the secret to your success, all right, to unlock the abundance all right, that you deserve, okay, and that is available for you. So you might need to get creative again with that magician energy. You might need to tap into some resources, but they're all at your disposal. And I think here, this is your time to use your talents, your skills, and your wisdom and experience that you've acquired over the years to make something happen for yourself there, okay? So be mindful, though, of your thoughts and your feelings, Okay, because spirit wants you here to um, to manifest abundance into your life with that nine of pentacles. All right. And so just be mindful of your thoughts and feelings because we always have the ability um, to manifest things into our world, both the good and the bad. All right. So just something to be aware of there. If you're focused on the negative, you will get more negative because that is where your energy is focused and that is what manifests and blossoms in your world. When we focus on the positive and we focus on what we want, okay, and we are trying to maintain that positive outlook, right? Does it mean you have to be in a good mood every day? No. Okay, process your feelings as they come up, right? But then we need to remember to come back to center, okay? Um, but when we manifest from a place of positivity and abundance, that is what's blossoms in our world. And this Jupiter energy being that energy of abundance, expansion, luck, right? You've got it all appearing in your reading right here. So harness this energy. You can make it happen for yourself. We are co-creating our reality with spirit always, right? So spirit says here, I'm opening the doors. I'm bringing you the energy that you need. This energy is very positive for you to find your prosperity, to expand your bank account even, right? But you've got to do something with it, right? You've got to take some initiative or some action to make it happen, right? It's like the universe says to you, I'll scratch your back if you scratch mine, right? So it's like a co-creation kind of energy. So we need to remember that sometimes. Be open and receptive to those opportunities and, you know, um, uh, be willing to take some action when we need to. We've got the King of Swords coming in here with that uh, Ten of Water. So the King of Swords is another energy of being on top, taking the lead. Um, 
communicating, being honest, being truthful with yourself, with those around you, um, taking a logical approach. Sometimes we need to find our balance between um, our emotions, our creative side, and also our intellectual side, right? The King of Swords is an awesome energy for sorting through documents, for going to job interviews, um, for having important conversations of all kinds, for acquiring wisdom and knowledge, right? Doing research, Okay, this can represent a person in your world that you may seek some advice from, perhaps legal advice, right? The King of Swords really good with those legalities, right? Um, you know, maybe some legal advice, okay, or some job advice, career advice even as well, all right? But again, there might be partnerships and people that really can impact um, your path forward, okay? Um, but ultimately, this is also your energy. You're taking the lead, you're taking charge, you're taking some control, all right, and you you are taking action in this energy as well. Okay. And I think that you are, you really do have the ability here to see things clearly. The King of Swords um, conducts himself with um, clarity and a sense of purpose. All right. And so you may just be getting some very major clarity in the month ahead here as well, or you're very clear on what you want and what will make you happy. All right. Because sometimes in our path forward, Money is nice, okay? But if you're looking at your career trajectory, money is nice, yes, absolutely. It's an evil necessity, right? But sometimes we want just, you know, we're going after our goals and dreams just for money. Sometimes we also want that happiness as well. And in a perfect world, we would get both money and happiness, right? So maybe you're trying to figure out what that looks like to you, or you might be willing to make some compromises just to make yourself in a, you know, get yourself in a better environment. Maybe that doesn't quite pay as much, but gives you more satisfaction out of what you do for a living, right? So anyways, whichever it is, you're being honest and truthful with yourself and those around you, but great energy for communication. Okay. And communication certainly is the key. Okay. To pretty much anything, right? Communicate and have that open mind. All right. But, um, we certainly do have some very masculine energy coming in here, but on top of some very feminine and open energy as well. So it's a very nice, healthy balance for you. In the bottom of this deck, we've got the world card coming in. Okay, so yeah, you're at the end of a cycle, end of a journey. It's been successful. Be thankful, be grateful, celebrate your successes, celebrate all of your um, challenges that you've overcome and get ready to expand your universe, to step forward into something new and interesting, okay? To make some change if you want to make change or just experience um, a period of growth for yourself, making wise decisions, wise choices here. And, you know, it's interesting, the bottom of these decks for you, because the world card is the end, right? The end of a journey, the end of a cycle, right? We've got a new cycle coming in with the Wheel of Fortune, but we also have new beginnings with the Fool, because after we finish with the world card. Now we step forward on the next step. And what is that? The fool. So, you know, so some great energy of movement, of forward movement, growth opportunities. It's wonderful. Wonderful. I kind of wish this was my reading, but it's not. So be prepared. Okay. And make preparations and make plans of your own as well, but be open okay, to different things, because sometimes we can make a plan, or we think we know what we want, and then we may stumble across something, you might just get a little bit of a surprise wheel of fortune. And sometimes we're on a certain path. And then all of a sudden, we're like, Oh, I wasn't expecting this, or I never thought of this this way. And we can all of a sudden find something better than what we thought we wanted. So keep that open mind. So let's get your last words of wisdom. Three, three, three. Oh, yes. We got to love three, three, three. Threes are about um, expansion, creation, and things coming to fruition. All right. You are being called upon to use your spiritual gifts as a light worker, assisting all humanity. Live your truths and be a positive light to others. I am powerful. All right. And those kings do represent a certain level of power. You've got a lot of power and a lot of ability to take the lead and take control and manifest and create something great for yourself there. We also have 1212 coming in here for you and 12s, um, ones, 
new beginnings, improvements, twos, decisions, balance, harmony as well. Okay, but you put those twos together and we've got number 33 coming there for you as well. All right. Um, so stay focused on your best possible future and remain optimistic throughout the entire journey. Your angels are right behind you as you turn your dreams into reality. I am focused. Well, you got to love that. I'm going to leave that there for you, Taurus. I hope there was something here that resonated with you. If there was, please don't forget to hit like on this video. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I thank you so very much for watching. Leave a comment down in the box below as well if you wish as well. I hope you guys have a wonderful, magical December, and I will see you guys later. Bye.